What's going on guys, this is Gaines Gaming. Today we are going to be spinning the Esmeralda's Prayer event. We're gonna do all 35 spins that we got fully free to play. So this is all throughout the, all the events that was going on in these last couple of days. And so everything that I'm doing today is 100% free to play. So I was getting all these coins from the Esmeralda's collection. So you get quite a bit of coins from that. You also get coins from the arms training event. And so we get seven coins from this one. And so this is fully free to play 35 and you unlock the city skin which gives you the golden eye permanent city skin not the greatest skin but something that you can unlock if it's something that you're wanting and just to remind you guys what that city skin does we'll find it right in here so this city skin came out with the egyptian update so the golden eye gives cav defense for the cost of archer health this is something that i thought was kind of weird that they put four archers into the game and then they took away archer health for the city skin so not the greatest skin, but if you are a cav player and don't use archers, pretty decent skin for the 5% health for the cavs. But the thing that I think is going to be the best part of this event is the extra rewards. So of course you get the decoration, you get the permanent city skin, but here at 45 spins you get 10 legendary commander sculptures. The reason why this is significant is because you do not have to spend any money in order to get to 45. You can actually get this by purchasing with gems, and so you actually get 10 Esmeralda's Wishing Coins for 50% off. So this allows you to get 10 additional coins for 4,500 gems. And so that brings your cost of every Legendary Commander Sculpture down to 450 gems per head, which is insane. That is an insanely cheap price. If we go to the VIP shop right here, if we just compare it to a traditional VIP shop purchase, you're spending 2,000 gems per Legendary head. And right now you can get it for 450 per head. So that's an insane discount. That's like 75% off. And so what we are going to do is we're going to go into the Esmeralda's Prayer. We are going to purchase all of these coins right here. So we're going to purchase all of them for 4,500 gems. So now we have 45 of the coins. So now we are able to spin all the way to 45. Plus we can potentially get 10 heads in here if we get lucky. And even if, if we're even luckier, we can get another 2,000 gems back for the gems we just spent. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start spinning. We're gonna see what we get. Hopefully we get some legendary heads, we get some materials, and really hopefully we get those gems so we can get even more gems back from this event. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit spin. And once this first spin gets over with, we are able to bring it up to three so it goes a little bit faster. First spin, we get some materials, which is great. We're gonna go up to three pointers. Yep, so three is the highest you can go. So we're gonna go three at a time. And so now we are going to finish off the rest of our spins and really hope that we get lucky. We almost got the 2,000 gems there, but I do need new stars. And so uh, with the new commanders coming out, I want to be able to level them up. So having some extra stars definitely does not hurt. So here's our next spin here. Again, we almost got those 2,000 gems. We got some materials, which is great. We got some gold keys. So we're going to keep on spinning here. We're down to 35 coins got more keys got more stars another thing if we take out one of these like if we take out these keys it just gets gives us a better chance of getting the 2000 getting a ring getting a uh, three-day speed up all that kind of stuff so the more of those that we get the better chance we get of getting a higher tier reward so here we get some speed ups or sorry some resources we get two crystal keys uh, that brings us down to three crystal keys left so hopefully we can clear those out and open up more of the board I'm really hoping we can get some of those legendary heads because we haven't gotten a single one yet. So we got some more stars, we got some materials there. I'm gonna keep the spins going here. We'll see what we get. All right, that'll bring us down to, I think, yep, so that'll bring us down to one star and two more crystal keys left. We got 26 more spins, so we're gonna keep it going here. See what else we can get. Right, we got some materials, some speed ups, and resources. That's all right. One thing I really don't want from here is the resources. That's the only thing I don't need in this wheel. And the speed ups are decent, but it's just not really what I want. Same with the, the gold keys, which is not really anything I need right now. And so, what I really want are these gold heads. And there we go, we got our first one. We got some stars as well. And so, that actually took out the stars. We don't have any stars left, so that gives us a little more of a chance to get those 2,000 gems and that three-day speed up. So hopefully we can get one of those by the time this wheel finishes. We'll see what we can get here. 
Oh, that was so close to getting those 2,000 gems. All right, we're gonna keep it going. We have two more of those equipment chests or material chests left. Ooh, we got the special one here. So we got the blueprint choice chest and we got a legendary head. That's awesome. Plus we got 15 hours of speed ups. I'm gonna keep it going, we got 11 left here. We'll see what else we can pick up. All right, that's not as great. I really don't want the blueprint uh, ch uh, chest piece. I really don't need that one. That was the first one I got, so I'm pretty lucky I haven't gotten many of those. And as I say that, I get another one, which is not very great. We've got five spins left, so hopefully we can get something else, some, some gems or some heads here. Let's see. All right, so that's gonna take out the crystal keys. And so that gives us two more spins here, even bigger chance for those gems and those speed ups. So hopefully with these last two, we're actually gonna go one at a time. We'll see if we can get one of those here. So here's our second to last spin. Oh, oh, oh man, that was so close. All right, we got one spin left here, last one. Let's hope for something good. Come on. All right, I'll take that. I'll take the gold head there. That's basically worth 2,000 gems. So I'm very, very happy with that. So we got three gold heads. We got the choice for the accessory blueprint as well, which is great. We can come in here. We're going to collect the Harvest Goddess statue. We can collect the city skin. And we can collect the 10 legendary commander heads, which is just incredible. That actually brings up my total to almost 1,200. We'll see exactly where we're at. 1,201 gold heads. So that's awesome. I am saving up for Boudica, Nevsky, and potentially also my Herald. We'll see what I want to invest in when Boudica gets here and people do some testing. So that'll be really interesting to see what happens with that. But we're going to go ahead and equip this golden eye to see what it looks like here. It looks really cool. Like that looks amazing. It, I just too bad that it kind of sucks for city skin. Um, but we're going to switch it right back to my other city skin that... I use for my infantry defense because I don't really use archers all that much and so I, I typically stick with my infantry defense because I'm an infantry player but like I said that's probably the best value you can get from this event it's not as great as a 7,000 gem value where you spend 7,000 gems and you can get up to 30 gold heads that's obviously way better and I would prefer that but this event is still pretty decent you're guaranteed to get the city skin you can get up to 10 legendary commander sculptures just by spending 4,500 gems, which for that price is an insane value. Plus I got another three here. So I really got 13 gold heads for the price of 4,500 gems. And that comes out to be 346 gems per gold head. And that's just insane value. That is like 80% lower than what it costs in the VIP shop to buy a gold head. So if you are looking for something to spend your gems on and you want a better price than what you get from the Wheel of Fortune, this is what you want to spend your gems on, 4,500 gems for 10 Legendary Commander Sculptures. If you guys enjoyed the video today, please drop a like and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like it in the future, please let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video.